Hey there everybody, it's Ashley. Welcome to my channel. As promised, in this video we're going to learn what to do if you want a refund for whatever reason. You can jump around the video using the timestamps below. Now, let's get started. The most important thing for you to remember here is that once the train leaves, you are stuck. There are no refunds once the train departs. Although exceptions to this rule are rare, if you need a refund for a legitimate emergency and not for some frivolous reason, the station master might allow it within two hours of the train's departure time. What if you're there for a refund before the window for doing so closes? Will there be a cancellation fee? Well, the sooner you ask for a refund before your scheduled departure, the lower your cancellation fee will be. Generally speaking, if you cancel 15 or more days before you were scheduled to leave, there won't be a cancellation fee. After that, you can expect to pay between 5 and 20% of the ticket price. Also, if you already changed your ticket before, or if you're traveling during a Chinese holiday, expect to pay the 20%. If you booked your ticket through a travel agency, things may be different than what's described in this video. For starters, each travel agency has its own cancellation policies. Some agencies don't allow cancellations of any kind, and others will allow it with a fee. However, fees may be higher than if you booked your ticket yourself. As mentioned in part one of this series, using a travel agent does have its perks. Just be sure to ask about cancellations and fees before booking so you know what to expect later if your plans change. The good news is that you can visit any train station in mainland China, no matter your route. If the train station is one of the larger ones, there are even special refund desks that will handle refunds. Otherwise, just visit the ticket counter. If you purchased an e-ticket through China Railway's official site, you can also cancel it using their site. But if it's less than 30 minutes before departure, you will have to visit the train station personally. China Railway will also not refund popular trains online, like the one to and from Tibet, for example. You will have to visit the train station to cancel those tickets. Now you're probably wondering, how do I know if my route is one of the popular ones? A good indicator that you're booking a popular route is that the train numbers are not displayed until you actually book the ticket. Otherwise, opt for trial and error. Try to cancel the ticket online, and if that fails, visit the train station. If you have a paper ticket, the ticket and your passport or ID are needed to cancel your ticket. If you have an e-ticket, you'll need your ticket pickup number and your passport or ID. If you send someone else to handle the refund for you, just make sure that they have your actual ID or passport. They won't be able to use a copy of it. If you paid in cash, you'll get your cash back. If you purchase your tickets online and paid via a Chinese bank account, Chinese bank card, Alipay, or WeChat pay, the refund will go back to the original source that you used to pay. If you use a travel agent to book your ticket, it's important that they handle the refund. Why? Because all refunds go to the original form of payment. If you return the ticket yourself, they will receive the refund. Finally, please note that everything described in this video relates to domestic routes within mainland China. International trains have their very own set of rules and fees. If you haven't already, please boop that like button before you go and join us in part three if you want to learn how to change a train ticket in China. Bye for now.